right, let's stand together. Good morning. Good to see you today. And uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer and invite Him in this place. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands together. Lord Jesus, we love you. We worship you this morning. We give praise to your great name. You created this day. You made us. We are your people. We worship you today. Hallelujah. We turn our hearts to you today. Lift our eyes to see what you want to show us. Open our understanding, oh God. Help us to hear with spiritual ears. Let your blessing rest upon this service, we pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Would you clap your hands to the Lord? Thank you. 
Scotland We could be on the beach, I guess. Walking. We could be in a summer house. We could be in the country. But we have come here to the house of God. And I believe the Lord is very pleased. When we take time to worship Him, to put Him first in our lives, and I believe he wants to be here and to touch us and to do a marvelous work in our lives today do you believe that? hallelujah let's worship him with all of our hearts today hallelujah hallelujah he is worthy of our praise hallelujah
You don't have to be a young person. You can be as old as you are. <laughs> But this is focused on ministry to young people. <laughs> so it's six o'clock on Wednesday. Six o'clock. Uh, sorry, seven o'clock our time. And again on Thursday, seven o'clock our time. And finally Friday again at seven o'clock. If you uh, can't make it here, if you're not in Tallinn, for example, but you want to connect, you can ask me. Praise God. I'm looking forward to it. Praise God. Would you stand with me again? We're going to receive the word of the Lord. Robert, Brother Robert Moses is coming to preach. One more time, would you just offer yourself to the Lord? Say, the Lord, be the center of my life. Lord Jesus, we open our hearts to you again. We feel your presence in this place. We want to hear from you, Jesus. Let your will be done among us, we pray. Let your anointing rest upon your word. In Jesus' name. And would you say amen with me? Amen. amen. God bless you. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. 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 And I uh, try to keep in contact with my uh, Russian brothers in, uh, in Russia. And uh, maybe some of you remember Colin and Victoria, they came here to surface. And uh, this past week, Koya is works and lives in St. Petersburg, but his family is in another part of Russia. So to save time, he flew there to see them for four days. And I guess it was on his uh, return trip back. The plane experienced some difficulties. This is one of my fears. <laughs> and uh, he said uh, it was so serious that people were crying out and shouting and praying. And they could not land at the closest airport because they did not have the facilities to put them out if they caught on fire. That's how serious it was. Not the is on the kaya na, but then no way na kaya na mando ka puna. To bolin, then no way, to na then no way na leon mo moros to stay the yuks kung iyang stula yung dekima. So they had to fly to another airport and thank the Lord 
Ei või ääge seif. Nad on alati nii teise lennu välja nii jõud ja nad sinna jõudsid ja kõik vaaguse hästi. He said everyone was crying and including him. Kõik olid nukmas tema teiste muudas. Amen. First of all, I thank God for saving his life. Mis ma kõik tänas mõelad, et ta säästis tema elu. And I also thank God for saving the other 290 passengers. Ja samuti täna, et 290 üle on priis ja samuti. So that's a praise I want to offer up to God today. Ja see on kiitus, mida ta on juba vaga anda. Keep me my friends safe. Et ta on minu sõpra muidis. I said God is definitely not done with you. Ja ütlesin, et Jumal on kaotlemata ei ole sinuga veel lõpetanud. Amen. Aren't you glad for God's goodness to us? Ma oleks, et ära võib Jumal on heaks eest. Praise God. Let's just thank the Lord for his goodness. Ja saame, et ära tema heaks eest. Praise God. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. God is so... Merciful to us. Jumal on tõeliselt armuline meie vastu. Amen. And the Bible says he is long-suffering. Viime rütm, et ta on pika meelega. I don't know about your life, but I know that is so true in my life. Ma ei tea, kuidas on sinu elus, aga minu elus on see väga tõenne. Amen. The only way we get wiser is the longer we live. Arjukele viis, kuidas saada tarjemaks, on see, et mida pigem ma elame. That just means I get to make more mistakes than my brother. I make more mistakes than my brother because I've lived longer. Ma olen teinud rohkem pigusid kui mu vens, ma olen kauem elatunud. So we say he has grey hair of wisdom. Ma ei tea, ütlen, et ta on halvulid juuksed tarkusest. It's just grey hair of trial and error. Ja pigem on see halvulid juuksed katsest ja eksitustest. Don't do this. Do this. Äge tegake nii, tehke nõnda. Praise God. I want to talk to you today a little bit about something God's It's put on my heart. Brother Tenny says, uh, when you teach, you tell. And when you preach, you yell. It's the same thing, this one is yelled and one is yelled. <laughs> Sama asi, kes on üks on hüüdes edasi antud ja teine on rääkides edasi antud. Today I'll probably just be telling it. Täna ma ilmselt ei saa rääge seda edasi. Every pastor deserves a vacation. Iga kasvab määri puhkust. But every pastor hates when you go on vacation. Aga iga pastorid ei meid see, kui sina lähe puhkusele. Because he misses you. Sest ta igastuks nii taga. Just like if they were not here today, you'd be missing them. Nõnda nagu kui nemad ei oleks siin täna, siis ta igast eksid meid. And you miss them, they miss you. Sina igast meid, nemad igast nemad siin. So I'm not preaching against vacations today. Nõnda ma ei põlt, ei jutlusta täna puhkuste vastu. And I know that we have gone through a serious time with this virus. Ja ma tean, et me oleme läinud läbi tõsisest ajast selle viirusega. And so I'm not coming against staying away from the house of God during the beginning of that virus. I'm not coming against those who stayed away in the early stage. Ja ma ei seisa nende vastu, kes ostasid eemal küsida varajas ajal selle kiirusega. But it is time for us to come together. Aga on aeg meil koos taas kogu. Use the common sense, of course. Muidugi kasutame üldist mõistlikus. But it is time for us to come together. Aga on aeg meil koos kogu neda. And it's kind of a unique situation. We can now come together, but now it's vacation time. See on mõningane kuvitav asjanu, et me saame nüüd küll koguneda, aga praegu on puhkust ja aeg. A few weeks ago, the lady that cuts my hair consistently. Mõne teda tagasi see aine, kes minu juuksul on regulaalselt. Of course, she didn't for about two, three months. She was not there. Kaks või kolm kuud teda ei olnud samadal. And then when she could be there, I thought, How dare her take a vacation? Ja kui ta lõpuks sai seal olla, siis ma mõtlesin, kuidas ta julge nüüd puhkust võtta. But, you know, you think, being caught up in your house, that's not vacation. Aga kui sa mõtled, et olla oma põlus kinni, see ei ole puhkust. So now that she could travel, she headed to the south of Estonia to visit her mom. Nõnda nüüd, kui ta sai ringi liikuda, ta otsustas minna seda oma Eestisse, et külastada oma ema. And on Monday she will leave again for three weeks. I thought, how dare her? Eelmaspäeval toogusti lahkub kolmeks nädalaks ja mõtlesin, kuidas ta julge. 
So today I'm going to get a haircut at 3 o'clock. Okay, enough of that. Let's look at the Word of God. Acts chapter 2. And we all know this familiar scripture. Acts chapter 2, we start at verse 36. And rather lengthy. So just now picks up. Read the verse 47. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Look at 36. Acts 2. Oh, it's not chapter 2. Because we're going to go to 238. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> no problem. Chapter 2, Acts. Verse 36. Apostle, the thing I've got to say in morning calls. Read verse 36. Kogu liitsenal ei sugu teatku nüüd kindlasti, et Jumal on tema teinud kissandaks ja messaks sellesama Jeesuse, kelle teie risti võite. And so the Bible says in verse 37, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart, they were cut in their heart, and Peter and the other apostles, brothers, so what shall we do? Saamis 37, seda kuuldes võikas see neile südamesse ja nad ütlesid peetusele ja teistele apostitele, mida me peame tegema mehed lennad. And then, of course, the verse that we all know is verse 38. Peter said, Repent and be baptized, ever one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And like any good preacher, with many other words, he warned them. Ja nagu hea jutustaja ta ka põjatas neid paljud teiste sõnadega. And it says that at that day there was about 3,000 added to the church. Ja on kirjas, et sel päeval viideti kogudusega umbes 3,000 uut inimest. That's quite a day at the church there. See oli üsna suur päev kogudusele seal. To go from 120 to 3,000. Et minna 120-est 3,000 nii. But what I want us to focus on is verse... 42. It says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Just as important as being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as important as receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Because the Bible says, now you have what it takes to become. Especially in an apostolic church, when you have received the Holy Ghost, it's like, Et ka apostelikus kogudused, kui sa oled ostud pühavaimu, siis on see väge kogemus. It's like, we have reached it. We have, we are there. Just kui, et me oleme kohale jõudnud. But the word of God is clear, you just begun. Aga Jumala sõna on selge, et sa oled alles alustanud. And that makes it even more exciting. Ja see muudab see meie meilgi põnevamaks. This is not the apex. See ei ole see kõrgpunkt. Amen, this is the beginning. See on algus. Amen. And what God has for us is just as exciting as what God has already done to us. And how you're going to get that is that you continue in what you have heard. That you continue in fellowship. Which includes eating and praying. Amen. One pastor started at least five churches. And I said, what's your secret? 
Ja ma küsin ta, et mis on su salaguseks? He said food. Tõesest paid. Was it a magical thing? Oli see mingi maagiline asja. He passed out a bottle of water and gave a hot dog in the park. Ta jagas ainagi pudeli vett ja hot dogi parkis. And that would cause people to gather. Ja see põhjustas selle, et inimesed kogutasid kokku. And he said, gathering people is not a church, it's a crowd. Ja tõtsi, et inimeste kokku kogumine ei ole kogudus, see on rahvahul. But once he had gathered them, aga hetkeks, kui ta oli nagu kogudus, koos põidu, with fellowship, koos osadusega, then he could share the word of God with them. Sai ta nende ka jõuda Jumala sõna. So verse 42 tells us, they devoted themselves to the teachings and the fellowship, the breaking of bread and prayer. Salmis 42 on keeras, aga nemad püsisid apostelt õpetuses ja osaduses leeva murmises ja palvetes. Because of this combination, they were filled with awe. Selle kombinatsiooni tõttu olid nad täidetud hämastusega. And many wonders and signs the apostles were able to perform. Ja paljud imeid ja tunnust ajad, mida apostelt viisid läbi. And They were, all believers were together. That's our key word today, together. And had everything in common. Now, it was a certain time, a certain part of history. And if you search it out, you'll find out that the church lost most of their possessions. Ja kui selle kohta uurida, siis võib leida, et kogudus kaotas suurema osa oma kõige sellest, mis ta olemas oli. Because of persecution. Aga kõige tõttu. So it was a time that they sold the property, verse 45 says, they sold their possessions and gave to each one that needed. Ja saimis enige viis on kirjas, omandid ja vanalad müüsid ära ning jagasid raha igal ühele seda moodi, kuidas keegi vajas. Amen. So it was a... It was a it was a move of God. So the Yuma Liku means that they did this because in the future they would have lost it anyway. Sest tulevikus on oleks nad selle kõik ära kaotanud nii ehk noh. And then verse 46 says every day they continue to meet together in the temple courts. Sai mis teid igat kuus. Nad viibisid päevast päeva ühel meele pühakajas mootsid leid ka kodudes ja võtsid rooga jubedades ning siirab süda väga. Again, they saw something that we need to see today. Ta nägid midagi, mida meie peaksime nägema. And that's the importance of that guy there, that lady there, ja see on that child there. Oluline, et see meest siin, see naine seal, see laps. Imesel pool. There's something that happens when we come together. On midagi, mis teab ase, kui me kokku koguneme. Now thank God for the internet that we are able to reach thousands and millions of people. That's that's a great beginning. Amen. But there has to come a time when we become a part of the church. So verse 46 again. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes, ate together with glad and sincere hearts. Ja uuesti saadud neidikonnet kuus. Nad viibis päevast päeva ühel mehele pühakojas. Mõtsid leiba kodudes ja võtsid rooga juubedades ning siira südamega. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all people. And the Lord added to their numbers daily those who would be saved. Kiites jumalat ja leides arvu kogu rahva silmis, issand aga lisas pääsetuid päevast päeva nende hulka. This is a glimpse of the church. See on viigu heit koguduse poole. Being filled with the spirit. Olla täinetud vaimuga. Being baptized in his name. Olla vissitud tema nimesse. Amen. Living a godly life. Enades jumala jumalale meelepärast elu. But fellowshipping one with another. Getting together. Laughing. Praying. Crying. And definitely eating. Amen. I'm quoting Brother Tenny a lot today. 
siteeri seda pastor Teni üsna palju. But the Teni said in the apostolic church. Aga tõtsid ta apostolikus kogudes. Not till we meet again, but till we eat again. Ei ole, et kuni me järgmine kord kohtume, vaid et kuni me järgmine kord koos uuest sööme. And the early church was under persecution. Varane kogudus oli tagakiusu all. Remember, Jesus Christ had just been crucified. Peale meeles, Jeesus Kristus oli asja risti löödud. It was the heavy Roman rule over them. See oli see raske Rooma valitsemine nende üle. So we can't sit back and say, oh, it was a different time, it was easier for them. No, 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 no. Nõnda me ei saa üelda, et see oli teist teine ajajärg ja asjad olid neile lihtsamad. Ei. It was an effort for them to get together. It was dangerous for them to get together. See on nõudis püüdus nende poolde kogu kogureda ja neil ei olnud seda ohutu teha. But the Bible tells us that they did this consistently. Aga Biibel ütleb, et nad tegid seda pidevalt. Amen. And they, from this, they grew mightily. Ja sellest nad kasvasid suuresti. Praise God. God's people have always been a gathered people. Jumala rahvas on alati olnud kokku kogunenud rahvas. Throughout the word of God, we see that scattering of God's people was a bad thing. Läbi Jumala sõna me näeme, et Jumala rahva laiali udenemine on ja halvasi. When they sinned against God, kui nad tegid pattu Jumala vastu, God used their enemy to scatter them. Jumala tahtas nende maailmasi, et nad laiali ja hajutada laiali. Amen. To be separated, to be scattered, to be away from one another. Olla eraldatud üks teises eemal was a punishment. In the separation, many times it was a cause of disobedience. But God gave the promise, gave the blessing that he was going to gather them together again. Amen, I'm glad that I am here today. Mul on hea meelet pole täna siin. And I may not speak your language. Ma võib ole räägi sinu keel. You may not understand my language. Võib olla sa ei saa minu keelest aru. But there's something about seeing you here. Aga on midagi sellest, et ma näen siin täna siin. I get strength from that. Ma saan sellest jõudu täna. I can't explain it. Ma ei saa seda seletada. But I understand it. Aga ma mõistan seda. Even I get something from that. Ma saan sellest midagi. And I hope you receive something from that. Ja ma loodan, et sinagi võtad vastu selle siin. Together we are strengthened. Koos me saame tugetatud. And when I see Sander come in, ma näen Sandrit sisse tulemas. I understand he's made in another week. Ma mõistan, et ta on üle enamud järjekorse nädal. When I see you come in, ma näen siin. I don't know what you've been through. Ma ei tea, milles sa oled läbi näinud. Amen, but you made it here. Aga sa elasid üle. You made the effort. Tegi selle püüde. I see you trying to smile, I see you smiling. Ma näen, et sa püüad naeratada, ma näen, et sa naeratada. I see you raising your hands and worshiping God. Ma näen, et sa tõstad oma käsi ja kiidad Jumalat. Amen. It is a testimony to me. See on tunnistuseks mulle. Praise God. Of your endurance and your desire to serve God. Sinu järjepidevus ja soo teenid ühimalt. Amen. God's people have always been a gathered people. Jumalad rahvas on alati olnud kokku kogunenud rahvas. Amen. We read in the book of Genesis. Me loeme esimese Mooseser aamatust. Where God's people came together and unified. Kus Jumala rakas tuli ühel meenel kokku. Unfortunately, they unified against God. Aga kahjuks nad ümilesid Jumala vastu. And they began to build a tower. Ja hakkasid ehitama torni. And that tower was going to reach into the heavens. Ja see torni pidi sirutuma taevani. And it was going to save them from destruction if it came again by flood. Ja see pidi pääsku neid hävingus või pidanuks uuesti uubutus tule. And they were so unified. Nad olid nõnda ühel meelel. They were so together. Nad olid nõnda koos. That God said nothing will be impossible for them. Et Jumal ütles, et neil ei ole miskilt võimatud. So he came down and changed the language. Nõnda ta tuli ja segas arva nende keeles. Amen. But we can see in the scriptures how powerful it is when we come together. Aga me võime kirjast näha, kui võrd suur vägi selles on. We can come together for evil. Me võime tulla kokku kurjanime. Or we can come together for God. Kui me tuleme, kui me saame tulla kokku Jumala. And when we come together for God. Me kui me tuleme kokku Jumala tõttu. Praise God. The same is true. On sama tõene. Nothing shall be impossible. Ei saa miski olema võimatud. Amen. God was for us. 
Jumal oli meie ka. And God will help us. Ja Jumal aitab meid. God will strengthen us. Tugendab meid. God, God often told Moses in the Old Testament. Jumal tihti ütles Moosesele vanas testamentis. Gather my people together. Kogu kokku minu rahvas. Praise God and he would do that. Ja ta teinuks mõnda. And one of the promises in Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 6, 17. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. I mean, what was one of the greetings that they had for each other as they would depart? Next year in Israel. They understood. God's going to do it. It's going to be great. And we're going to be together. Praise God. And Jesus came on the scene. Jesus tuli siia peeti. In Matthew 23, verse 37, and he said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stone them which are set, sent unto thee. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, kes sa tapad profeteid ja viskad kividega suurduks need, kes su juurde on näkitatud. There is two things here in this scripture that sadden the heart of God. There is two things in this scripture on kaks ansjad enes kirjakohas, mis kurvastavad Jumala südamad. And the first is, esimene on, et when we reject the word of God, kui me põlgame ära Jumala sõna, we reject the man of God, kui me põlgame ära Jumala sõna, and the second is, ja teine on, he says, how often I would have gathered you as children. Kui põlg korri olen ma taaklik su lapsi koguda, Gather you even as a chick does under or a chicken does under her wings. What's that we gonna go up on a pizza from a tea but on that? And you would not. And they are the only doctors. Amen. It saddened the heart of God. Say, who was that? You must have done. We 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 reject reject the word of God. We must follow the matter. We must not. And we reject coming together as the church. Yeah, follow the matter. Who go up on a pizza from a tea but on that? This, what we are doing today, is important to the heart of God. And it's important to this guy too. Because he's a pastor. Amen. And it thrills his heart to see you in the house of God. And if it touches his heart, how much more does it touch the heart of God? When we come together, praise God, and we worship the King of Kings. Amen. We sing songs unto Him. We testify of His goodness. Amen. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This excites the heart of God. Why don't we practice that right now? Why don't we just thank God for the privilege we have to see one another in the house of God. To lift up the King of Kings. Oh, we give you praise today, Lord. You are the great God of heaven and earth. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. We lift you up today. We give you praise, Almighty oh God. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy that surrounds us day by day. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. If you want to destroy your enemy, you can come in with guns and you can come in with with bombs and planes. Or you can come in with decisive words and with hatred. 
that will cause division among us. And will cause us, I'm not going to go there because he's there. I'm not going to go to that church because she's there. You can come in with bombs and guns or you can come in with words. And the enemy of your soul will do that. He will use whatever it takes to keep you from the house of God. Because he knows just how important this place is. He then, he'll use a jealous spirit. He'll use a wounded spirit. He'll use hate. He'll use fear. He'll use the threat of disease. To keep you out of the house of God and from the people of God. Why? Because he knows that in this place it's a special place. Praise God. Not because of the material that makes it. Not because of the location of where it is. But because of who comes here. And what we do here together. Praise God. Praise God. It is natural. It is spiritual. Amen. I do get something from it. Amen. And I will be so bold to say that church functions of any kind are important. It doesn't mean Sunday is the most important day. Amen. The enemy of your soul. Knows that if he can keep you from a prayer meeting, the Bible study, the church picnic, yes, yeah, even a church picnic. The Bible says they came together, they fellowshiped, they broke bread. You don't get to know Esther right here. You get to know a little bit about her. But if she invites me to her home, and she has, my wife has, she's been to our home, then a friendship begins to happen. We still don't speak each other's language well. But there is something else that's running deeper. Amen. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. And brothers and sisters in Christ. Just like brothers eat together. Just like brothers and sisters eat together. They fellowship together. And the enemy of our soul knows that this is just as important as coming together, singing some songs, testifying, teaching the word of God. Yes, that's important. But fellowship is very, very important outside of the church. And the devil knows. The enemy of your soul knows. If he can keep us apart. He can weaken us. Even I know the joke uh, a few weeks ago about the Estonians are glad that the two meter separation is over. The joke among Estonians. The two meter separation is over. 
Now we can go back to five meters. And my wife and I, we, we joke kindly. As we drive by the bus stops here in Tallinn. And you see one Estonian there. You see the other one over here. Only one is under the canopy. My Russian teacher said, uh, we were talking about the difference between uh, Moscovite Russians and Estonians. Kindly. And I think my Muscovite friends will agree with me. A Muscovite Russian has to be a little aggressive. Et Moskva on peavad pisut agressiivne. Just to survive. Lihtsalt, et selle jääda. That's a big, big city. Kuna see on väga suur ning. And so, uh, she said, well, how do you find Estonians? Ja nõnda, ma küsin, kuidas, kuidas sulle tundub siin? Do you like Estonians? Kas sulle meedia teistud? Ja, I like Russians. Mulle meedia teistud. I love Russians. She said, how do you feel about the Estonians? I said, how can you not like them? You can't get to know them. I said, how can you not like them? It's, it, it, it's hard to get to know them. If they're this far away. It just takes more time to get closer. Amen. But it's worth the effort Amen. to become his brother, not just his friend. Amen. And it's worth the effort for me Amen. to become his brother, Amen. for you to become my sister. Because as I understand the word of God, this makes us the church. When we come together, Jesus told us in Matthew 28 or 18 20. Jeesus ütles meil Matteuse 18.10. And I know you can take this scripture and go many directions with it. Ja ma tean, et seda kirja kohta saab võtta ja sellega mitmesse suunda minna. But it says, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Sest kus kaks või kolm on minu nimel koos, seal olen mina nende keskel. Whether that be in a church house, or your house, or my house, in a place. So when we come together and have a picnic, amen, we do it in Jesus' name. When we come together and have a prayer meeting, amen, we do it in Jesus' name. Because where we come together, and call on his name. Amen. Something awesome takes place. He's there. If he's there. If I'm here. And he's here. It's going to be a good time. The psalmist said in Psalms chapter 73. Another lengthy scripture. And it says truly God is good to Israel. Even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. It's what I like about the word of God. It gives us the good. And it gives us the bad. And it doesn't hide it. He says, for I was envious. The psalmist, we don't know if it's David for sure, but possibly David. Uh, possibly another guy. But he's being honest with us today. And he said, I was envious at the foolish. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there's no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. Sest neid ei ole piinu surmani ja nende keha on liha. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Nemad ei ole vaevas nagu muud surelikud ja neid ei lööda nagu muid inimesi. Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, violence covers them as a garment. 
Sellepärast on uhkus nende kaelaehteks vägivad. Guys stand out with fatness. They have... Silmad on pungis lihavuses ja südavad keel üle kurjades põtetes. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression and they speak lofty. Oma kurjuses nad irvitavad ja kõnelevad valet, nad räägivad kõrgi. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Nad tõstavad oma suu taevani ja enne keel käib üle maa. Therefore his people We turn hither, and the waters of the fall cup are wrung out up to them. Selle pärast pöörduta rahas nende poole ja nad rüüpavad nende sõna valikult. And they say, how does God know? And their knowledge is the most high. Kuidas Jumal võib seda tunda ja kas kõige kõrgemal on sellest teadmist? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. Vaata niisugused naelad. Nad elavad ala tiraanikud ja koguvad jõukust. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. Päris asjata, ma olen hoidnud oma südame puhta ja olen süütuses pesenud oma käsi. You said in other words, basically what I'm doing, it ain't making a difference. See siis mõud ütleb, et see, mida ma olen siia nii teinud, ei ole midagi mingi vahet. He is not thinking right. Teegi tänud ja see ei ole õige viis mõtte enda. Have you ever had one of those days? <laughs> My pastor used to say, nobody loves me, everybody hates me. I'll just go eat worms. <laughs> We all have a worm-eating day occasionally. <laughs> And if we're not careful, we let it develop into a, a week. But God's mercy is with us. It's pursuing us according to the word of God. He goes on to write, For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. He said, If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generations of thy children. Ma oleks siin võtenud, ma tahan kõneleda nõnda, nagu nemad vaata, siis ma oleks siin petnud sinu laste sugu. He said, when I thought to know this, it was just too painful for me. Ma hakkasin mõtiskema, et sellest aru saada, kuid see oli mu meenest vaja. Aren't you glad the psalmist does not stop there? Ja on see hea meen, et see psalmi autor ei peata selle koha. Because if you're human, sest kui sa oled inimene, you've had these kind of days. Sul on aset. You've had these kind of weeks. Let's be honest. But he goes on and he writes. And until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then understood I very. Praise God. Why should I come to the house of God? Miks ma peaksin tulema Jumala kotta? Because understanding comes here. Mõistmine tuleb siin. I know there are some that are not here because they're thousands of miles away. Ma tean, et on siin neid, kes viib juba tuhandeid kilometreid eemud. And we're thankful you're tuning in. Ja meil on hea mene, et sa oled liitud hitene. It's a great beginning. See on hea algus. There are some here that maybe are sick in body. They're not here because they're sick in body. On we call on ekis se ole siin kuna neil on mingi haigus või midagi. And we understand that. Ja me mõistame ka seda. But there are some that are not here. Aga on osa, kes keda ei ole siin. Because that's just too convenient. Kuna see on lihtsalt mugavam. I'll watch it when I get up. Ma vaatan seda siis, kui ma üles sõrkan. I'll tune into it when I have time. Ma Ülitan sisse siis, kui mul aega liidub. I'll fit it into my schedule. Ma sobitan selle oma aja graafikusse. See, I'm saving the pastor from saying all of this. Ma säästan vastarit, et tema seda ei käib sõitama. You can hate on me. Ma võid oma viha minu peal põõma. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Ma olen suur, ma suudan selle ka põhjus. He didn't say this, I did. Tema ütled seda, mina olen seda. He didn't ask me to say it. Ta ei palunud mul seda. He might be nervous that I'm saying this. Ja võib olla ta järvis, see on oot üle, et ma seda olen rääkimus. But I believe I'm in the word of the Lord. Ma ma usun, et ma olen sellega Jumala sõnas. There's something that takes place in this field. No, mida, mis teie võtad selles omanes? When you can be here, kui sa saad siin olla, and you choose not to be, 
aga otsustada, et mitte on. That's different. See on teine asi. You are playing into the enemy of your soul's team. Sa mängid seda siia maailmase kätte kõik. He is working in your life. I'm not talking to the individual that can't be healed. I'm talking to the individual and I'm hoping encouraging those that are here. That we have made the right choice. We have made a powerful choice. And every time we choose to be with the people of God. In the house of God. Where is that house? When two or three are gathered together. There's understanding that comes to us. Because the enemy of our soul is working. Because he is jealous of what you can do and what you can enjoy. So he is speaking to you on a daily basis. You don't need that church. You don't need those people. You don't need to go to that house. You can get everything you want right here on the internet. No, you cannot. Amen. There's something the psalmist is telling us. There's something that Christ has even told us. When we come together, Amen. We get strength. Amen. When we come together, praise God. We get encouragement from one another. But when we come together, Amen. God is in our midst. Praise God. Praise God. Why don't we go ahead and raise our hands and love God for just a minute. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the Word of God. It's quick and powerful. Thank you, Lord, for the Spirit of God. Amen. It comes alongside that Word of God. It brings life and joy and peace. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, O oh God. We lift you up, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So Jesus tells us. The psalmist tells us. And Paul says to us. In Hebrews chapter 10. 23, 24, 25. Ebrea 10. peadiks salmist 23. Pidage vangumatult kinni lootuse tunnistusest, sest usta on, kes seda on teatanud. Let us provoke one another. Ja mõtlete üks teisele. And to love and good works. Sirgutada armastusele ja teade tegudele. I can't do that if you're in your house and I'm in my house. Ma ei saa seda teha, kui sina oled oma kodus ja mina oled enda kodus. Somewhere we got to come together. Ühel hetkel kusagi peame kokku saama. And encourage each other. Ja üks teist juurustama. The Bible says this. Liibel õhtel seda nõnda. And I'm coming to a close. You can relax. Ja ma ei juan lõppu ole siin. Jesus said, I'm now with you. 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 And he said, I shall be in you. Ja ma saan olema teie sees. Did he not say that? And how, when we know through the word of God, through Acts chapter 2 we read, that when we repent and we are baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, we are born again. Christ, Christ has come. He's living inside of me. Am I right, Pastor? So, if that's true, and it is true, Christ is in him. Christ is in me. How can I get closer to Christ? 
Lähesida Kristuse riigi. Kristus on temas. Kristus on minus. Kristus tegus see tema elus. Kristus tegus see pingu elus. Ja seda ei saa näha. Aga kui me tema ole vigem, ole mõtendes Kristusest tema mees ja Kristusest minus mees. Minna siis vigemal Kristusele. Ma tekis kana nahki juba. Tema ei ole täiusnud. Mina ei ole täiusnud. Aga me mõnevad üritame olnud Kristuse moodi. Ja miski, mida tema saab minu võtta ka. Nõnda, kui ma lähen vigemale Jumalale, pean ma vigemale saama temale. Vigemale saama sinule. Nõnda, tõtta. Nõnda, tõtta. Ja mõtelge üks teisele. To provoke one another to love and do good works. Kuidas üks teist virkutada armastusele ja neadel tegudele. And verse 25 says, Not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together as a manner of some is. Ja saamis 25. Ärge me jätke munalusse oma koguduse koos käimist. But exhorting one another. Nõnda nagu mõnel on kommeks, vaid julgustage selleks üks teist. And so much more as you see the day approaching. Ja seda enam, mida rohkem te näete, seda päeva lähenevad. Me oleme higemal täna, kui me oleme kunagi jaanes olnud Jumala tulemisele. Ja see on maailmase tegemine, et hoida see teema Jumala kojast. Olgu see see koda siin. Või kui me nagu mõtlesin, kui me kokkuneme kokku, in my house or your house. Those meetings are just as important as this meeting today. Praise God. Praise God. I, I, I believe I've shown you that in the Word of God. Let's look at Psalms 27. And I, I am closing. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. And of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Kui kurja tegelikult tulevad mu kallale mu lina sööma ja mu rõpuvajad mu vaed ja mu vaenlased, siis nad komistavad ja kukuvad. Kui sõjaväki seal pleeri mu vastu, ei karda mu süda. Kui sõda puhke mu vastu, selleski ma loodan tema peale. Ja me võime järgneva tundi veeta selle teema, miks Taavet nõnda ütles. Aga tea seda. See oli temale oluline. Ühte ma olen palunud issandalt. Seda ma just need nõuan. Et ma saaksin asuda issanda kojas kogu oma elu ajal. Ja ma tean, et ma show you that it meant in the house of God, literally. And heaven. But David desired this. And to be in the house of God. To inquire in his temple. Good. Verse 4, last part. Yeah. Ning tähele panna issanda leegust ja mõtiskleda tema templis. He goes on to say in verse 5. Saimis viis ta jätab. Why don't you stay? Tõuse mega. It help me hear it better. Verse 5 says, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. Sest ta peidab ind oma majasse kurja ajal. In the secret of his tabernacle. Ta peab ind salajas oma teegi pelgubad. Shall he hide? He shall set me upon a rock. 
There is something powerful about us being. On midagi vädis selles, et me oleme koos siin. David understood it. David mõistis seda. Paul understood. Paulus mõistis seda. And Jesus understood. Jeesus mõistis seda. The other writers of Psalms understood. Teised psalmi antoid mõistis seda. And when we allow the enemy to keep us apart. Ja kui me lasame vanlase hoida ennast üks teises teema. When we allow the enemy to keep us at home. Lasame vanlase ennast hoida kodus. When we allow the enemy to keep us busy. Kui me lasame vanlase hoida ennast hõigatuna. And we don't come together. Whether it be at the house of God or a picnic. Or a picnic. The breaking of bread and fellowship from house to house. Praise God. We get strength. We get encouragement. Praise God. So he says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me. In his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. Sest ta peidab mind oma majaste kurjal ajal. Ta peab mind salajas, kui ma teegi pelgu paigas. Ta tõstab mu üles kaljule. When I come together in God's house with God's people. Ma tunen kokku Jumala kojas, Jumala rakkada. And God's spirit. Ja Jumala vaini. Praise God. Amen. If you play any kind of video game. Kui ei ole mõnda aruti mängi mängi. You want to get... The next weapon. Whether it gives you more lives, gives you more power, gives you more strength. We are in a fight for our lives, folks. For our families. Even for our city. Even for our own self. And I need to gather all the special powers and weapons I can. Ja ma pean kuguma kõik need võimalikud erist vervad, mis vähegi on saadavad on. And the word of God today says in his house, ja Jumala sõna ütleb, et tema kõlas, tema rahva, in his name, ja tema nimega. Praise God, I'm getting some more power. Ma saan, et ma väga juhu. Praise God, I'm going to win this video game. Ja ma võidan selle tase. Praise God, because God is giving us all the things that we need. Sest Jumal on andnud meile kõik vajaliku. But when I say, oh, I don't need, it's not that important that I'm fellowshipping. Aga kui ma ütlen, et see ei ole niimoodi oluline, et ma ei pea tema ka osadust. I can get it on the internet later, I'm going to sleep in. Et ma saan seda internetis hiljem vaadata ja ma ka sisse. Well, I just, I don't feel I'm getting, I can watch it on the internet tomorrow. Mul ei ole praegu see tuju. It's sunny out today. Mul ei ole praegu tuju, ma ei ole sõnud päikseli, aga ma saan umbe vaadata seda. We are allowing the enemy of our soul to destroy us little by little. It was important for Peter to stand up and say, repent, be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of but it was also equally important for him to continue with many words that God said. And to exhort them. To encourage them. So maybe today I'm guilty of using many words. But he went on to say that it was important for the church to come together. To be together. To sing. To worship. And to eat. Praise God. It's all important. And it all helps us. It's a good point though. To make it. When that last gathering takes place. And blows that trumpet. And he gathers us from the east and the west. Ja kui ta kogu meid kokku idas ja lõunas, from the living and the already gone, elavate ja juba lahkute hulgas. What a day that will be. Minine päev see saab olema. When we come together, kui me tuleme kokku, even for all eternity, terveks igaikuks, in his house, tema põhjas, amen, worshiping him, ülistades teda, loving him, ja teda on praise. I'm going to ask your pastor to come, but as he's coming, I want us to just thank the 
the God of heaven. For the person next to you. For the saving name of Jesus Christ. For the spirit of God and baptism. Praise God. But again, for the very person next to you. Christ in them. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity to be in your house. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be in your very presence, God. But thank you for the very privilege, oh God, of gathering together with us and precious brothers and sisters in Christ. That I can gather from them and get from them and glean from them strength and encouragement, oh God. Hallelujah, and I know that if they can do it, if they can make it, I can make it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just continue to worship the Lord. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. Jesus. 